Stefano, thank you for coming on the program. I find it very hard as a classical musician. Why is it that we classical musicians find it so hard to improvise? It's just because you uh, probably, when we, you were a child, somebody told you that uh, it wasn't a good idea. If somebody told you you shouldn't improvise, you should play this music because this music is perfect and what you are improvising is not perfect. And that's true. But that's the good part about that. Uh, the good part about improvising is exactly that we're not me. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for the moment. It can be, though, a little bit embarrassing, I find, on my horn, if someone says, oh, just improvise on B-flat or this and that. I, I find it, it's, it's just something I really don't feel I can do. Because you think, of course, you're going to judge yourself. That's the point. If you don't judge yourself, it's going to be great. Improvise on B-flat. <laughs> Now, I can, I I can yeah, exactly, <laughs> I can think, wow, that's boring, I should use some other notes. Well, that's judging. You're judging your work. Just try and, and be an open channel. You can uh, use a scale, you can, as a, you can use a rhythm pattern, you can start with some elements, you know. That's what we do while we're improvising. I just start with an idea. Of course you need a structure. Some, so you get to build something, you get to build a bridge, and then at the same time you're walking on the bridge. So this can, be, this can be a good start, but it can be uh, something totally different. It can be just uh, two chords. Do you hear the chord before you want to play it, or do your fingers, do you think, oh, I'll play that uh, that's chord? That's a good question. It depends on your mood, actually, and what comes to your mind. The, the main thing is just be an open channel, because you don't know where it's coming from. It's coming inside you, but uh, not worry about making mistakes. No worry, because they're not. They're, they, yeah. It doesn't exist. Yeah. The thing called mistake doesn't exist. In our world, unfortunately, it does. If you start a symphony with a wrong note, we've made a mistake. Yes. That's why we're maybe so panicked about letting ourselves go. That's with why those. I prefer improvising. Okay, I'm going to go. That's and mainly the, that. the main thing. The main thing. I prefer improvising because I'm, there's no mistake. So when you play concertos, like, will you play in Rhapsody in Blue a different thing every night in honor yes, of George? Yes, especially in the solo parts, because he did that, so why shouldn't I? If you play a classical piece, some, do, do, do you do play classical pieces? I played, like actually, I played with, with this same orchestra, I played the Ravel Concerto in G. In that case, I play note by note. Is it painful for you ask to me, do that? Ask me, exactly, it is, <laughs> it is. Who cares? if uh, one guy in the world doesn't uh, like you to improvise on his music, if the audience likes it, who cares? I mean, ah, yeah, but you know, the, this guy is the, the composer of the music. Who cares? He's dead. The music is here for us to enjoy. The music should be a live uh, experience. So let's forget about this guy. The Beethoven, Mozart, they are dead. And their music is alive, and to keep it alive, we get to play the music as if it's coming out from us. But a lot of people think that the page is the music, right. but it's not. The music's it's here. Not, in fact, usually the page is not playing. <laughs> Well, let's hope George Gershwin will like this. And let's hope, for me, let's hope the kids will like it. 